Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. 30, 35, 40, 45. He likes counting money and shooting hoops with his friends. Again. Woo! He loves his video games and likes to be heard. Just say everyone's safe. There's no fire. Everyone's safe. There's no fire. 17-year-old Mauricio has a lot in common with your typical American teen, but he's not typical. He has autism. Muchos de ellos tienen miedo, se avergüenzan a veces. His mom says many families are scared or even ashamed when their child gets diagnosed with autism, but she says God blessed her with Mauricio, autism, and all. <laughs> As the nation recognizes April as being Autism Awareness Month, stories like Mauricio's are in the spotlight. Those who work with and care for autistic kids would like to see heightened awareness year-round. As a non-disabled person, it can be kind of heartbreaking taking students out there when you see people staring at them or, or acting like they don't deserve and belong in those places. What also weighs heavy is the realization that eventually Mauricio will age out of his specialized school and he will need as many life skills as possible to be able to make it as an autistic adult. Autism. Autism aware. <laughs> Uh, awareness. awareness. They need to practice those real life skills for before they go out there and they're working and um, spending their own money and budgeting and planning. Do I play a video game or do I buy food with my paycheck? With 1 in 59 kids diagnosed with autism, according to the latest data, an increase from the prior year, Mauricio's story doesn't scratch the surface of the number of autistic kids out there with a story of their own. When you look at those statistics, it's increasing every year. Uh, when you've met one child with autism, you've met one child with autism. The spectrum is immense. Have a great day. Have a great day. For Ed News Feed, I'm Kim Martinez.